say this is for my baby brother. Huh? I like it a lot. vlog hope you guys are having a great day so far um, and welcome to uh, the start of our official nesting although I guess I feel like I've started it a little bit already um, but this baby boy in here is due in less than a month and a half at this point I'm 34 weeks pregnant and I don't know I feel like I just have felt like I had so much time and like this is our second baby so I'm not stressing things too much but it kind of just hit me like we're gonna have a baby like an actual human newborn in our house in six weeks or less hopefully and we still have a lot to do um, so I made up a list of all of the things that I'm wanting to get done before the baby gets here and we are just going to start trying to tackle things one by one. I'll read you the list here. It's a little scary. Need to set up baby monitor, baby proof dresser, meal prep freezer meals, wash and organize newborn and zero to three month clothes, set up a nursing and pumping station, make postpartum basket, set up crib, switch up nursery decor, organize nursery, share meal train link, set up bassinet and bedside nursery, Set up swing, play mat, bouncer, snuggle me, baby bath, sterilize bottles and binkies, install car seat, clean out the van. So, <laughs> um, today we are going to tackle just a couple of those things. Ivy's over at her grandparents' house for a few hours, and me and Davis are just going to get done as much as I can, as we can. It's a Saturday afternoon. So today we're going to try to organize the kitchen a little bit. I'm going to work on like our pantry hutch and he's going to work on the fridge. Um, we're also going to meal prep a bunch of freezer meals. I ended up getting this PDF It's from Stork the Freezer um, of a bunch of crock pot freezer meals that you can make. Um, so we're going to do that. We're also going to set up the baby monitor, which Davis is working on right now, um, which is actually Ivy's baby monitor. but. Like it's still relevant um, and I wanted to post the meal train link which I already did so I can cross one thing off my list um, so yeah today is gonna be a lot of doing stuff in the kitchen and just kind of trying to get our lives a little bit more, more organized and so we feel more prepared for when baby boy comes around so I'm gonna try to move all the baking stuff up to this top shelf because this is the only shelf that I be not reach still because she's getting so tall um so i want everything else to be like sort of baby proof and then like if things like this she could just figure out how to open so i'm gonna move them all up <laughs> Should I save it till next Christmas? But no, like that's gross, right? <laughs> Maybe if we don't eat it. Oh, no, I think I'm probably just gonna have to toss it.
finished it up. It's definitely not like your Pinterest worthy organization, but it's a lot better than it was. Um, we have a lot of extra space now, which we actually need to go shopping, so that's going to be good. But everything is organized. I know where everything is, and I think this will be a much better system. All right, we went to the store, got all the ingredients we need for our freezer meals. Quite a bit of stuff, but it's supposed to make 10 meals. All right, so... There are five different uh, meals, and then each one makes two like batches for the freezer. Um, so we're gonna be making slow cooker Baja shredded chicken tacos, slow cooker chicken tortilla soup, slow cooker shredded Hawaiian chicken sandwiches, slow cooker cheeseburger chili, and slow cooker French dip sandwiches. Um, hopefully they will turn out really good. I got this PDF from um, Megan Acuna's channel, one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, she made these before her baby was born and she said they were really good. So I'm excited to try them out. We're going to start cooking, but I think I'm going to get changed because I don't want to get my cute dress dirty. Guys, 
I did it! We did it. I'm so happy. I got all of the meals prepped and in the freezer. Hopefully they'll be really yummy when the time comes to make them up. It actually, it wasn't too hard. It probably took me like an hour, hour and a half to like get everything prepped in, in the freezer. Um, but that's not including shopping time. Um, and they look like they'll be good meals, hopefully. Um, and today was a really productive first day of nesting. We set up the baby monitor, organized the pantry, cleaned and organized the fridge, meal prepped freezer meals, and shared the meal train link. <sighs> that was a lot of stuff. And I am going to go chill now, but I will see you guys the next day that we are nesting and hopefully get some more stuff done. Who's that? Is that Ivy? And that's mommy! And Ivy! Oh, and that's the window. Yeah. Gentle. Very, very gentle. There you are. Can you wave hi? Can you wave hi? Hi! Hello! It's a couple days later and this evening, um, and today I washed up all of the babies newborn and zero to three month clothes, pulled up two laundry bins. Like, I don't know how the heck we got so much. Um, but anyway, this evening I am going to be folding and organizing these and getting them put away in the nursery, um, which I am pretty excited for, honestly. I also got a bunch of these organizers from uh, Amazon. I already had a couple from Ikea, but they come in all different sizes. So I'm going to be using that to um, organize the drawers so they're just a little bit more put together. I'm going to start with newborn, so zero to three months, so I'm just going to throw it over there. Such a good job taking out the bins. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we know. Really we know. Because here, we know we did. Big sister. Oh my goodness! What? It would be more exciting than pulling <laughs> mine. <laughs> it is exciting. Look how good these are. They're so little. All right, fair enough. That is. Exciting. Um, this is the knotted gown that we got for him. I actually got it as a shower gift for Ivy. Um, we got this from Copper Pearl. We also got Ivy um, a little set from Copper Pearl that was a, <laughs> a knotted gown, <laughs> a swaddle, and a um, little bow. <laughs> Ivy, sweetie. This is some good footage. Yeah. In all her own prints, so we got the new baby one as well. And it's this like really cute leaf print. This is probably what we'll do his announcement pictures in in the hospital. Check it out. She wants to help me. Don't be like daddy. Yeah. All right, here are the newborn clothes. 
These are sleepers and swaddles, which he will probably be wearing the majority of the time. And then we have some onesies. And then we have some pants, not very many. And then um, these are the creamy clothes and the socks and stuff. We haven't folded up yet. And that's the newborn stuff. I try to not get too much because who knows how long he'll be in that size. But I did go to a garage sale where they had so many newborn, where they had so many baby boy clothes. So I got a whole bunch. They were all 50 cents each um, in all different sizes. So that's why I have a little more than I originally intended. Marine for me and Margaret. All right, these are the zero to three month clothes. Alright, and here is the last of the zero to three month stuff that I just hung up in the closet. They're like play suits, some overalls, jackets, sweaters, stuff like that. And then I have all the things that are too big tucked away in here. I need to figure out a better solution for all this stuff on the floor. But for now, I think that's pretty good. Hey guys, so I am really excited to be collaborating with Love Every on this portion of today's video. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that we are obsessed with Love Every in this house. Probably 80% of Ivy's toys are Love Every. They're really like high quality stage based play. Um, we have been doing their play kit since Ivy was really young. Um, and they send you developmentally appropriate play things for your child. Um, every two or three months depending on their age so we've been doing that for Ivy as part of the thing I wanted to do for nesting was set up some like playstations for the kids the kids that sealed so weird um, but as you may have noticed we had a funny like combination of packages coming a little late and the baby coming a little early so I'm actually not pregnant anymore so this isn't technically nesting this is after the fact but I thought I would just throw it in this video since I meant to do it for nesting um so one of the things I've really been wanting to do is put together like a little basket of just kind of newborn toys it's not like he's actually gonna play with these but things that he can interact with like cool sensory things for him so I'm just going through the newborn um, the newborn love every play kit right now it's called the looker it's for 0 to 12 weeks and I'm kind of just like putting things in and figuring out what's what All right, so this is gonna be his little basket to kind of go along with um, the play mat we have we got the love every play mat for Ivy when she was a newborn and like we used it so so much probably the first like nine months or so of her life like before she started getting really mobile so I'm really excited to have that for him so in our little play basket we have a cute little bottle that has a removable ball um we have a little wooden like high contrast book which will be fun to show him if you didn't know like high contrast images are supposed to be really good for babies brains like newborns and um it's really easy for them to see because it's like such sharp contrast i think ivy's more like reading this to him there's some sensory leaks which i believe hook on to the, the like arches that the play mat has so that would be kind of fun and then we have these really cute little high contrast knits um that we, we can put on baby's hands um he loves to like look at his hands have them up by his face so these will be really cute um and then in addition to that he came up with this really cool mobile which we could put like above where he's sleeping there's like a high contrast side or you can flip it over and there's this colorful side and then there's also this little like board not board this little like you can do um, and slip some cards or some like, mirrors into for during tummy time um, and also a little collection of high contrast cards so I'm really excited to play with these with him um, Ivy's already been playing with her new play kit and she totally loves it um, and these are just gonna be such nice things to keep 
the kiddos busy um, while we're adjusting to being a family of four. But anyway, um, I will get back to the nesting portion of this. Um, again, thanks to Love Every. Um, if you want to check their things out for yourself, um, I have a link down in the description box. It's an affiliate link. Um, go ahead and go through that. You can check out the play kits or the standalone toys. Like, I can't recommend them enough. We really love them. Um, and yeah, let's get back to the nesting, the pretty baby days. Hello, everybody. It's a few days later. I thought I'd give you a little update because we have been working on some stuff this week. First of all, we got the bassinet set up, which I tell you is just so surreal to have up next to the bed. And I also started putting together some little baskets. So this is kind of just bedside, you know, diaper change stuff. So we got diapers, wipes, an extra swaddle, an extra sleeper, um, a little changing pad, and diaper balm. Right? Yeah. Then I also started to put together my other two baskets. Um, I'm just storing them in here for now because they don't need to be out just yet. So one of them's postpartum stuff like my peri bottle and dermaplast, um, tucks or pads. Actually, I need to get those out. Other pads, all that good stuff. And then the last one is in the bottom here. And this is breastfeeding stuff, so my pump, Haka, um, my hand pump, nipple butter, that kind of thing. So I have these set up and they're ready to just get out whenever so they don't have to be like out in the way. <laughs> We're also in the process of trying to figure out how to make the nursery work. So we, there was a lamp in this corner, we just moved it. Now there's a Davis in that corner. <laughs> um, so the crib will go here, but the only problem is in the summer we have the AC right here. So I think if we just moved it over, like in front of the bookshelf, it'd probably work. That works. You don't have a lot of wrapping room. Maybe if you, well, maybe we can pull it out a little bit more once we get the crib in here. Mm -hmm. All right, we have the new crib in here ready to set up. I have these pretty shirts at Jungle Gym. I've never seen her do that before. That's pretty impressive. Okay, that's a little scary. Wow. Come back now. All right. I'm gonna get it all set up. Place the curtains that'll be better all right so I think this is the arrangement we've settled on for now at least for the summer while we have the AC in here the crib will be kind of in the corner which is okay because he's not really gonna be sleeping in here the first few months too much he'll probably just be napping in his crib sometimes um, and we have the chair in the corner here and then <laughs> um, when we don't have the AC in here anymore, we'll probably kind of swap, put the chair back in that corner and swivel this over this way. But I think that works for now. It's a little tight. We had tried putting the chair in this corner behind the door and it like barely worked. But I think this is gonna be a better setup. Next weekend, the clip you just saw was from yesterday. Davis went ahead and cleaned out the van and also installed the infant car seat, which is so weird. We are putting it in a little early, but I just kind of want Ivy to get used to it. I heard that could be a good thing to do. And now I am about to start sterilizing all of the 
bottles and pump parts and binkies and all that stuff. And that's kind of one of the last big things on my list other than packing the hospital bag, which I did start doing. Um, but I want to make a video of like a what's in my hospital bag, so I don't know if I'm gonna include that in this one. But anyway, I am gonna try to go through all of these and find all the right sizes for stuff because all the bottles are like, yeah, we haven't used them in a while, so we need to figure out what's what. I mean, all the slow flow to start out with, which actually looks like these three. That's convenient. So I'm just going to do this to kind of like clean them off, make sure they're good to go. here. I just need to do the binky still, but those are in the nursery and I've used napping. So I'll grab those and then I'll be able to check another thing off the list. Mm -hmm. 